Lesson 17, Session 2, page 386. Learning to solve word problems with equations of up to 20. 17 coloring pages are on the table. 17 are on the table. Tanya colors some, but we don't know how many. That's a mystery. Now there are nine pages left. There are 17 on the table. 17 is our whole. She colors some, but we don't know how many. Now there are nine. How many did she color? So here we are looking at teen numbers. So teen numbers are made of one group of 10 and at least one one all the way up to nine ones. 11 equals 10 plus one. 12 equals 10 plus two. 13 equals 10 plus three. 14 equals 10 plus 4. 15 equals 10 plus 5. 16 equals 10 plus 6. 17 equals 10 plus 7. 18 equals 10 plus 8. And 19 equals 10 plus 9. Okay, understanding teen numbers will help us solve our problems. If there are 17 color pages on the table, that is a group of 10 and seven, right? We know if there are 17 and we're gonna take away nine, we can get to the 10, right? So 17 and going to 10, if I have 17 and I go to the number 10, how many jumps is that? It is seven jumps, but I need to get to the number nine, right? And then the jump from 10 to nine is one jump. How many total jumps did we make? One plus seven equals eight. So that means that Tanya colored eight pages, right? We had 17, 17 is the whole minus the part equals the part. We could count on from the part we know nine up to the whole, which is 17. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many more did we draw? Eight. We got the same answer solving this way. Problem three, Isabella has 12 balls. Oop, 12 is a teen number. 12 is made of 10 plus two. Ryan has five balls. How many fewer, that means how many less, right, balls, does Ryan have than Isabella? So Isabella has 12 and Ryan has five. Those match, those match, those match, those all match. So I'm gonna put a box around those. Those are all the same, right? How many fewers did Ryan have? All of these were the ones that he didn't have, right? She had that many more and he had that many fewer or that many less. Let's count those. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many fewer did Ryan have? 
he had seven fewer and Isabella had seven more, right? Whole minus a part equals a part. Seven fewer balls. If he had 12, if she had 12 balls, 12 is what Isabella had. Five is what Ryan had. Blank is how many fewer Ryan had than Isabella. We could count on from that part up to the whole. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many is that? Seven. We could also count 12. One, two, three, four, five new lines. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we knew that Ryan only had five. This is what Ryan had. How many did Isabella have? How many more? She had seven more, right? Which means that he had seven fewer. Problem four. Sophia has eight more marbles than Olaf. Olaf has seven marbles. How many marbles does Sophia have? Sophia has eight more than Olaf. Olaf has Seven. Olaf. He has seven marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sophia has eight more than Olaf. So here's Sophia. He had the same amount here as Olaf. He had the same as Olaf, but then he had eight more. So this is the same amount that he had together. And then Sophia had eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. So Sophia had this amount and that amount. Sophia had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen total marbles. Olaf only had seven marbles. He had part of the same of what she had, but she had eight, many, eight more. Seven plus eight. This plus sign right here tells me that seven is a part and eight is a part. Seven marbles plus eight marbles. If I have seven marbles, how many more do I need to get to 10? Seven, eight, nine, 10. So I could divide that eight into three and three five, six, seven, eight, three and five, right? Three plus five. Seven and three make 10. And then 10 plus five more equals 15. Just a different way to subtract. Same answer.